What's up? This is Lita James, and make sure you check out my interview with David Duane. We are getting ready to speak to our girl, Leela James. She's got the brand new album called See Me that comes out on July 30th, R&B singer. This is the seventh album. What's going on, RK? What's going on, Tracy? What's going on, everybody? I've got to send this live to everybody. Hey, Jennifer, what's going on? I'm, try I'm trying out here, y'all. Hey, Victoria. I got to resend this live to y'all because um, we got bumped out for a second, but we about to get bumped on in. Um, I was playing complicated for y'all. That way y'all can get a sample of, you know, what Leela has to come with this album. It is so dope. When I tell y'all, wow, she is speaking from her heart. She's speaking some real truth. So we're going to chat about it. Just can't wait for you guys to hear it on the 30th. It's available for pre-order right now. So if you guys want to go ahead and get it, like on pre-order, definitely do that. You guys got to, y'all are going to love this album. No joke. And Leela is joined with us right now. I can't wait to speak to Leela because this brand new album is so amazing. Yes, we about to talk about it right now. So everybody, any questions? Drop them below. Let's get it. Miss Leela. Hey, hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Bless. Thank you. A absolutely. And it's so good to see you. Congratulations on this brand new singles. These singles, thank you. these videos, the album. Oh my gosh, sis. Thank oh you, gosh. thank you. And, and shout out to everybody joining us. Yeah, shout outs to everybody joining us. First of all, I want to say thank you for tuning in to my Women in Music conversation that we had on Clubhouse. That was so great to have you join in and just like, and, and us giving you your flowers and stuff like that because you are a R&B legend. I need these Thank young you. kids to understand this is the seventh album. How do you feel about releasing your seventh album right now, especially during these times? Like you're speaking with so much conviction, so much vulnerability. Just everything about this project is so right. The tone of everything is beautiful. Thank you. Um, I feel really good, actually. It was challenging to make the project and to complete it. But now that it's done and it's it's ready to be released. I feel so good. Um, I feel liberated and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just excited and I can't wait for people to hear it. It's so much of um, what you've been talking about this in it, you know, um, so much um, emotion and um, the vulnerability that I definitely, I think, came across this time in the album. It's just, it just feels good. It just feels good to get it out. Mm hmm It definitely does. It comes out on July 30th for anybody that wants to know when the album comes out. It's available on pre-order. So get it, get it, get it now. And you know what? I want to address what somebody said in the comments to have this album as a vinyl. This album has to be pressed as a vinyl. Like, it is that album for real. It's so classic. The nostalgicness of it. Complicated is the first single. I love the video. Can we talk about this record? Because men and women... All people make it extremely complicated when it doesn't have to be. And look, I can see, I can see this song already on tour with the background vocalist in the back. Look, you're gonna have to call me up for that because I, I can see it in my head for this tour. <laughs> okay, definitely. Um, we're working on some tour dates right now. Um, I have some um, show dates that are already on the calendar, but um, yes, a tour is, is in the works. So. We'll see, because, you know, we're also still kind of coming out of this pandemic, mm. but we're actually still in the pandemic, so. We um, are still in it. I want people to understand that, too. Yeah, they we're still really in it. You know, I still wear my mask, and I still, you know, um, operate the way that I was moving last year. I still, like, you know, try to take every precaution necessary. But, yes, yeah, so we're um, we're trying to get it all together, and I'm looking forward to um, a tour. I can't wait to, because the last time we talked, you were on tour with for the uh, Fall For You album and that tour, oh my gosh, like so many years ago, but I, I always feel like it's never too long ago, but this new single, Complicated, was the first of many singles to come off this project. How did it feel to just kind of come up with this lyrical concept and be able to talk about such a strong message that everybody is, you know, dealing with? And it's a reality record, as I would say. It, well, again, I, for me, it, it, it has all felt really good, very liberating because of my own personal experiences. So to be able to get things out in a creative way uh, without, you know, having to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
it feels good because you know <laughs> people will try I know, I know the feeling. You know, music you know what I mean <laughs> I'm just saying yeah. it's the, but you know what though it's the truth because people drive you to that point but I can tell with this music you take all that frustration and put it into this body of work this art and I love what you did with the video just Thank the whole you. project is so Thank amazing you. Let's Thank just, you. Let's even just elaborate on, like, See Me. Just yes. how you came up with that title as well, too. Well, See Me is um one of the songs on the album, and it's entitled See Me. And I just, after recording the song, it was one of the last songs we recorded for the album. It just, once you listen to it, you understand, but it was just one of those songs that I just felt like it, it personified the entire project. And I just wanted it to be entitled see me because it's like yeah you need to see me <laughs> and you got a video coming out for that too there will be a video for that one too oh okay <laughs> <laughs> right I'm now not... we're just actually gearing up um this week you'll be able to get the third single which is called you're the one off of the album that's my favorite though okay Listen. Okay. So, yeah, so that's dropping this um, Friday on the 16th and a um, video with that as well. So um, I'm just excited about the entire project. I, I just feel like um, for me personally, I'm like, I feel like every song could be released as a single. <laughs> you have to, because you know what? Honestly, each record is not only just a single type of record but it's a video t like everything like you have to because i couldn't even pick a favorite like look i'm going through the track listing and i i just really can't pick one like oh <laughs> all 11 tracks are so beautiful you're the one oh my goodness yeah and that you know that was one of my that's one of my favorites as well it's such a, a feel good record and it's so light yeah. It feels like the summer. It feels good. It feels happy. And um, I think we all want to feel that emotion. You know what I mean? We, we've definitely been through complications where it's been complicated. And you've been in situations where you're like, you know what, whatever. Put it on me. You know what I mean? You can lie. Uh -huh. Say what you <laughs> want to say. Narcissist. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Listen. But it's all good because I'm a, I've moved on. I'm happy. I'm free. And I done found the one that's the one, and I feel good. I want to sing about it. I want to shout about it. And it's just like, I just want to dance. I want to, you know, and that is what that song represented for me. And when I hear it, it just, it just puts you in that good, like, feel, feel good, good spirit. It's just like, yes. it ain't even got to be about nothing, but just like, I'm just feeling me. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good that I can just say, you're the one. Like, I could be the one. You know what I mean? Right. Myself. Look and sing it to myself. You're the one. Like, you know what I'm saying? You the one. You know what I mean? Like, I'm... It, so, it's just one of those records that I just really feel really good about as well. Yeah, and it builds, like, a sense of confidence, too, because, like you said, you're the one. That your can be self. That can be anybody that's around. And when I heard that record, I was like, wow, I'm the one. I don't mm -hmm. need nobody else to be the one. I'm the one. I got rid of some 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 other one. <laughs> 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 and there and there's nothing wrong with you know being honest and loving that, you, loving yeah. yourself, and yeah, being comfortable it's, it's, and celebrating. It's, inter it's interpretation. I mean, you know, um, again, it's so easy to to uh, love on others, but we don't always love on ourselves. So it's like. Mm -hmm. What's what's wrong with singing to yourself every once in a while and telling yourself like you know what I I I'm 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 pretty much the that ish yeah okay I'm the one I'm the one for me you know what I mean so or when you again when you finding that person that other person it just feels good to feel good and I just feel like with everything at that time when we were working on the album everything that's been happening in the world in this past year. I was like, we need something to make us feel good again. That oh, was yeah. light. You know what I'm saying? And this album does that for me. Thank you. And it's no skips. Like, no skips at all from top to bottom. It is beautiful. Thank you. With this recording process, I wanted to ask you, so, like, how long did it take to, like, record this album? Was It, it took like, a long time because of the pandemic. 
Okay. I had started working on the album prior to everything shutting down. So you're talking about the end of 2019, you know, top of 20, we were working. I, I began the process and um, when the pandemic hit, everything just came to a halt um, for several reasons. One, I wasn't even, I went through a, a phase of not feeling creative and not even wanting to record. You know what I mean? I was so um, taken back with everything that was happening in the world and around us. So I wasn't even in that spirit. So I took time off and then we circled back. And when we circled back, we were like, you know, deep into the pandemic and it was all the challenges of trying to record with that being said, when you're used to, as an artist, we move around, you know, we're on the road, right. this and that and third and everything was shut down. So it's, it's no going into the studio. It's no doing this, no writing session, all of that. So it was just challenging to, get some of the stuff done and, and to remain in, in a creative headspace about it. But we got through it and I do think it all things for a reason. I love you too, Melba. Um, all things for a reason because I feel like some of the, my, um, the, the music, you know, came across the way it birthed it. The, the, the birthing of my music is, is a result of, you know, being impregnated you know, during that pandemic. So I, I, I was able to sing about some things that I probably wouldn't have sang about or written about yeah. um, had not been for this time. So all things for a reason. And again, now I, I'm I'm so blessed to say that it's, it's completed, it's done, and y'all getting ready to get it. And I just hope, um, you know, it blesses someone. Oh, it's definitely going to bless them. I can guarantee them it's going to bless them. Because, I mean, even with Angel in the Skies or Break My Soul. Mm. Like, mm. oh, my, records. listen, now, now you going in. I know I know you done listen when you start. And them some lit, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard those, I said, oh, mm -hmm. she talking to me. Yeah. yeah. He was talking to me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to be Mary J. Blige, my life for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when you got to that portion of writing the album, were, were you just kind of like, how far back in, in life would you say like you were reminiscent to, to write to, to get to that vulnerability? I went through some things. And so, again, I'm the type of artist that I poured out all of my music. And um, I'm not a big um, person to do a lot of interviews. So even something yeah. like this, I don't do too much of that. But you will if you want to know what's happening. You kind of read between the lines through my music. I put it in the music. I tell on the person in a minute. Okay. <laughs> and that's what I love that you do. It's like when you do speak to people, and I'm loving the fact that we're catching up like that. Like it's very, it's very quick. It's very in that moment. But you got to read between the lines with your music. If they want to know what's going on, stream and download that album. Listen. Yeah. 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 I tell my story in the music. And that's an and that's an amazing. And I thing. tell the stories of others in my music. Mm hmm. What age were you when you started? You like you started your songwriting? Would you say that it started with the, the first album for you, or did it start like? Oh my early goodness! I that? was writing as a child. To be honest, I just, I mean, really? it wasn't no good, but I was writing. I, I I used to. I remember being in the fourth, fifth grade, writing little children's stories if you will and i would try to draw my own pictures and i would fold the paper and staple them and make it look like it was a book wow. so i would write a story about the dog that needed a family and then i would draw a picture of the dog and you know mm -hmm. it'd be three people when that's the family he's looking for a stray dog and oh everyone looked happy ever after and they have the dog like i i was mm -hmm. always writing yeah and, and, and writing songs again um they probably weren't good songs because I was a kid, but you couldn't tell me that. Like, I was we right, was, we was right, we was the Jackson Five as far as I was concerned, okay, or the Jackson Two Three. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good though that you started early because that way you were very expressive, and even from then to now, you know how to put that all into your music, yes, absolutely. Again, for me, music is like a universal language and I feel like it touches the souls of, of many. Um, and everybody can speak the language of emotion. And that's what music does. It's either gonna evoke a bad emotion, those happy emotions, sad emotions, but you're gonna get something and with me, I try to tap into that emotion, whatever 
whatever that is. And I do that because I'm an emotional person. So it comes easily for me to, you know, sing about something or write about something that I might be personally dealing with or that I know someone else is dealing with. You know, I'm an empath. So a lot of times I take on other folks' stuff easily. Right. And, you know, we could be having a conversation like we having now. You could tell me, girl, listen, I done been whoop de whoop whoop and this, that, and that, and this, and that. And, and I'm like, what? And then two days later, I done wrote a song about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, it, in a different way. But, you know, it's just that's how I deal a lot of times, you know. Um, some people um, use music as therapy, and I happen to be one of those people. Yeah. And everybody loves the fact that you do it. And, and it's been healing. Over the years, your albums have healed a lot of people, Thank you. men and women. How does that make you feel to hear the response from women of all ages, like really enjoy your music, not even just as the album, but through shows as well, too? I mean, it makes me feel good because there's that saying, if you can just help one somebody, then you've done your job. You know, and to know that people are listening, to know that I have the support of of my my people not i don't like to say fans but my people to know that you know y'all got me that mean i got y'all too and i'm making music when you've been given a platform too much is given much is required when you're given this platform you should do something with it i'm not playing with it so i want to help people you know with it and if i can help somebody through my music save a life or two or you know whatever the case may be that's what i'm trying to do i ain't just trying to you know, play with this crap out here. I, as mm -hmm. much as I love music, is I, I got to make it make sense. Okay. And that's, I think, the biggest problem that some of these new artists have is making it make sense. But your music has always made sense. It's always been a message <laughs> and a word through every single way. And I even enjoyed when you and Tank went on tour and stuff like that a couple years back. I still remember that tour. I was like, oh, yo, yeah. Leela is a beast. <laughs> on that stage, the band was just smacking the keyboards. I was like, I don't know who all your band members are, Leela, Thank but you. I was shook. I uh -huh, was shook uh -huh. seeing it right in the front, shook. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, we, um, I remember that tour. It has great fun. Um, can't wait to get back out again. <sighs> Shake off some of the dust. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, it's no game out in the, in the, at, when we get out there. It's a good time. And, I, again, my thing is always that I'd like to make people feel good um, and, and, and hopefully help somebody. If you're not in a good space, I hope you're in a better place after you, you know, listen to my music or even come to my show. Exactly. And what would you say got you in, in the better space from when you weren't writing and working on the project during this pandemic? What got you to that good space again? Um, it was shortly around the holidays. I started slowly um, um, doing some other projects, music related, and I did a um, Ma Rainey um, thing, and it just I got bit by the bug again, and I think that was kind of the breaking of the ice, and mm -hmm. I started to feel like all right, you know, but I had to get out of the funk, and I think it also, <laughs> you know, we had a new president <laughs> <laughs> that made me feel Won't a little he bit do better. It? <laughs> I was like, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I know we still got things that, you know, we have to um, tackle. But that was just, that helped. That helped. <laughs> that right. was a little turnkey. Like, yeah, because this is some, listen. Woo. Listen. It, it was, we were stressed out having a whole headache over here. Yeah, man, and it was just so distracting. It was just very distracting. And, um, again, it was hard to feel, for me, um, it was hard for me to feel creative with all things that was going on, you know. Um, it's I'm kind of one of those people where if I got a brand-new pair of shoes on my feet, I don't feel good if I'm looking at my brother and my sister barefoot. And so that is bothersome to me if like folk around me dying senselessly you know what I mean and uh, you know I don't feel like I want to go turn up and you know what I mean and folk just like whatever whatever no I, I I take it personal you know so yeah it was just it was a struggle initially with everything that was going on um in that past year just watching so much um yeah. sadness 
So I so didn't much feel. Yeah, it was a lot. You know what I mean? It was a lot. But uh, at the same time, but God and I was, you know, we here and, and we can sing about it now, literally. Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, I feel, you know, good because the work must go on and, and we're going to help some people and we're going to keep singing. And, and, and that's what that's what we're here for. Make folk feel good. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you are here for. And that's what a lot of great r &B talent is here for to make people feel good and i know that a new album from you was definitely something that i needed in 2021 in this new look in this new decade all right i needed it at the top not at the not in the middle right there so I, when i heard that you were coming out with this new album i was like yes here we go thank 2021 you. this is yes. the energy for me yes yes indeed thank you Absolutely. And then I want to also ask you, I know we mentioned faith as well, to keeping faith and, and just that belief, right, during all the hard times and even do, like of this pandemic and even just hard times in life. How important is it for you to keep God at the forefront of everything, staying centered? It's very important. I mean, for me, again, it's it's uh, it's my gas. It's my gasoline. So, you know, it's, it's that's all I can say. It's my gasoline. So. Mm hmm He's our gasoline over here. This his platform. <laughs> <laughs> he created this. I'm just here messaging. It's exactly right. Yes. That's, a, that's amazing. And a lot of people love put it on me as well. I, that's Thank what they're you. saying in the comments. That Thank you. Yeah, that's one too. of my favorites as well. Like I I mean, all of them are my gems. Um, but put it on me like it's some old, yeah. That's definitely one of my favorites because I said a lot of what I, I wanted to say in a manner that I felt that, that I, too. I was like, I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because I, you know, I try, I tr for me, I try to, um, again, I, I express myself through my music and I tell my stories through my music. I'm not a big, I'm a private person, so I'm not, you're not going to catch me doing too much online on social media, all that kind of stuff. At the same time, please don't keep pushing me. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, don't get mm -hmm. me twisted. I am from South Central LA. Please believe. Listen. So okay. I, I I know I know how to speak when I need to be talking, <laughs> but I I try to <laughs> I try to talk that talk um, in a creative manner. You know what I mean? So I I I try to use again my platform in a manner where I could take something and um flip it to to the benefit of the good the greater good of the overall picture and that is for me helping me and my people and helping somebody get through maybe something they going through you, you know whether it's they dealing with a situation and relationship with somebody trying and testing them and they like listen mm -hmm. i'm gonna let you get that all off i'm gonna let that's what you need to do to feel good about all the little f shit you've been doing excuse my french oh you good <laughs> but just know, <laughs> I go to high road is all the time, but that middle road ain't too far from that high. <laughs> right. Listen, I feel you because I be on the same thing too. I be like, why are y'all testing me? And it's funny because on my weekly show, we did a segment we were talking about letting go, right? So yeah. what I said in the segment was, people are only going to go as far as you allow them to. So if you don't yeah. stand your guard and you don't say, I don't like you treating me this way or you don't treat yourself good. People are going to continue to try you and try you and try you. Yeah. They will test you, but you they have to will be the test one that's... You. And especially when you're dealing with narcissists, narcissists have to be right. They seek attention in all forms, any way possible. And they, um, it's all about the, the facade, the mask. Right. I don't wear a doggone mask. And I, you know what I mean? So I really don't care. Um, at the end of the day, but when you're dealing with a person that their whole being is built on um, looking looking a certain way, right? Then there's no there there's there's no reasoning with their rationale because as wrong as they can be, as much as a villain as they can be, they, they still, got it. They got it in their mind that they right. They're the victim, and you you wrong. So it's like you know what? If you need to, if that's what you need to do. To make you feel better, or if that's if that's what you need to say, I'm good. Like put it all on me, put it on me, cause guess what? The best part about it is 
I got you out of my life. Okay. So I won. That's it. And that's what it is. Some people's approaches to situations, they got to be like, they don't want it to be, you know, well, I broke up with her or he broke up with me. They're like, who cares? Who broke up with who? First? I really don't care as long as we are broken up. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> like, tell them what you need to tell them. Boo boo, tell them I did everything. I don't really care. Because you already know what it is. God saw what you was doing. God saw mm -hmm. all that crazy crap you did. And it's crazy that people... So you ain't got to prove it to me. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody else. The truth don't need to defend it. At the end of the day, you gonna answer for it. So put it on me. Put it right. on me. Because you, you care about what you look like, not me. And you know the <laughs> biggest thing also, too, is, Leela? People want closure. Don't go seeking for that closure if the proof is right in the pudding. Not from Just a narcissist. You definitely ain't gonna get it anyway. Oh, yeah, no. What you want closure for? <laughs> right. <laughs> Not these narcissists. I was in a situation where I was dealing with somebody who was a narcissist and they made everything that I did wrong. Even to the point where I was like, hey, um, you didn't wish me happy birthday the other day. What's really good? Oh, it's all in your head. No, it's all in your head, but I'm gonna let you think that though. Yeah. And that's again, and that's with anything, you know what I mean? I think it's not just with relationships, uh, romantic relationships, and just to say in general, it's like, Sometimes it you don't need to have the last word. Like, you know, just let it be what it's going to be. Like, let them get that. If that's what they need to get off, whomever it is, whatever it is, fine, fine. You can have at it. Have it. Put it on me. I don't care. I'm just happy. I'm at peace. I ain't got to deal with you no more. Like, that's the win. That's the real win. Right. That's so, the real success. <laughs> <laughs> like, at the end of the day, so again, that's that was where that song came from, and and you know, and I just found that so many could relate to it because it was people that I knew that were dealing with situations with that that was so similar, and it's like, man, so many people go through things where they just feel like I'm just I I, I don't even care, like really, like it, I remember there was a scene in What's Love Got to Do with It, if y'all remember that movie. Oh yes, and um. When she was in the, they were in the court for for the divorce, and she was like, "All I want is my name." Name. She was like, "I don't care about none of that other stuff. Like, just give me my name." Like, she did not care. You reach a point where it's like, I don't have to prove none to these courts. Now you know what you did. God knows what you did. I know what you did. Like, and and if you if that if it's gonna make you feel better to keep all that materialistic stuff, whatever you need, or say this and do this, whatever, have at it. Put it on. Right. Me. I don't care. And, and and fight with me, who you're really fighting with yourself, because I don't have no comeback for it. Yeah, like, I really is. So that is what that song was about, as opposed to, you know, um, people wanting to feel like, in situ you know, I got to get revenge and all that. No, nah, I got to do nothing, because everything you did, you already done done to yourself. I try to tell these kids, yeah, revenge, the best revenge is moving on, Doing good, walking with your head high, and staying blessed. Don't there respond to no mess. Yeah, and that's what it is. And when you, if you watch the video, the message in the video is doing just that. The burial that, um, you know, I'm burying something, and that's, I'm burying that, all that baggage of like, listen, you got the trash, go with the trash. You good. I'm good. <laughs> yes. Like, we it was that whole, whole ceremony for, for it. Like, <laughs> like, this is a blessing. This ain't nothing. There ain't no crying tears on here. This is actually a blessing because nothing bad could ever be good for you. Mm -hmm. But when you get rid of something bad, like what you feel bad about? Right. You're supposed to be feeling good. Mm -hmm. And if you don't feel good, you got to adjust it. There you go. So no, they, everybody is loving that we preaching about this topic. But it's good that we're talking about it because it's such an important topic to have in discussion you gotta let it go yeah. you can't let these crazy people you know steer you in the wrong direction stay in that right direction and i yeah. love the fact that through every single song and with this album everybody be able to really hear the powerfulness just the vulnerability just all realityness in this project on the 30th yeah yeah it's definitely a lot of that so uh, again i'm very excited um I can't wait for the people, for y'all to get it, hear it, 
You know what I mean? Stream it. You know, don't get just one. Get maybe two, three copies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they better get multiple or I'm going to slap them all to sleep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And tell somebody, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, I, I make, again, I make the music for the people. So hopefully the people um, receive it and love it like I do. Yeah, they're definitely going to receive it and love it. So, Leela, I've got to ask, you know, we always wrap up our interview with this question. What exemplifies you not only as an artist, a friend, a sister, a daughter? A mother. A mother. Yes. The, the most two. important thing. What a mother. Most what important. It, what exemplifies you as a woman? What exemplifies me as a woman is uh, the strength that my mother taught me to have. It's my strength. That's it. Is in my then the grace that um, I live by that is given to me by God because it ain't nothing but His grace. Why I still sit here, or why I stand, I should say. Amen. Um, to it's that. the grace and the strength. That's it. That's exemplary. That's enough. Because okay. in this world, you need that damn gone strength. If you, you know, what I mean, otherwise, woof, and you need some grace. That's 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 who I am. And God definitely does that for us. Does it for you? He does it for me. So that's, I love the fact that you said, answered that question just like that. So this was so great, Leela. I thank you so, so, so much. I was waiting all day for this convo. This is the best. I always love speaking to you. And I can't wait for everybody to get Save Me. No, See Me. Why did I say Save Me? Because they all need to be saved. <laughs> that's okay? it, that's one of the songs on my, my other album. <laughs> right. They got to check that one out, too. But, they, but See Me, July 3rd. Where can everybody follow you just in case they're not following you, like, on Instagram? I mean, they're following us here on Instagram, but where about Twitter and uh, Facebook? Oh, and yeah, yeah. If you're not following me, get down with me because, you know... Um... I can use the followers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Le It's so easy to find me, Leela James official. Um, that's on Instagram. Twitter is Leela James. Facebook. Um, people are still, I guess, go there. I have a, a Leela James musician page. Um, you can get on. I started a TikTok page a few, couple months back. I think I got like maybe thirty followers by now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So follow Lilo on TikTok. You about you about to be dancing on there too? No, I just I'm still oh, trying to figure can, that we crap can do a out. Video together, maybe right? Maybe we yeah. some TikTok stuff. But yeah, y'all like, yeah, can follow me on all those little platforms of the uh, or those apps, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> but most importantly, get the music, man. Get the music. Get that music, cause that's what I really I'm really about that music. Absolutely. And is the album going to be available for physical copy as well? Because The because album will not, I don't think, be available for physical copy. Okay. But you can download, definitely download. I mean, hey, it's 2021. It's, it's expensive to make these records, y'all. And they ain't messing with some of us artists. You be, Target, put my record in the doggone store. Target, Best Buy, put it in there. Walmart, right. Put it on the shelf. They I don't like, think I've seen any CDs in Best Buy for a little bit. Exactly. So there you have it. You know what I mean? Back. Yeah, yeah. Them days of, you know, going to the actual record store, as we call them, and picking mm -hmm. out records and going through the vinyl, like, miss that. You know, miss being able to go to Tempo Records or with something like that and just really buy the um, music. But yeah, you can still download, you know what I mean? You can stream and download. That all will help. <laughs> right, because it's still a coin and a check. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, Leela. Well, it was good chatting with you. I can't wait for everybody to get the album again on the 30th. Y'all need to make sure that y'all are getting it. Don't not not get it because I'm going to find out. I'm, I'm going to be following y'all who's now watching me, okay? Yes, indeed. <laughs> when y'all get it, can you, like, post that you got it so I can repost it and all of that? Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Do that, y'all. So when you guys get Leela's album on the 30th, screenshot it and show, share it. Yeah, absolutely. Sure will. Just that simple. And I'm going to do the same, too. All righty. All right, Leela. Good chatting with you. Congratulations on the project. Thank you. Same to you. All right. Always good a pleasure. Chatting. All right. Bye-bye. A bless. All right, y'all. So that was our conversation with Leela James. Make sure that you guys get that album. See me on the 30th. Listen, like she said, post it in the stories. 
Let your friends know about it. It's an amazing album. I promise you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in this evening. Tonight, we have another special live interview and stuff like that, Convo, if you will. Can't tell you who, but make sure that you guys follow, 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 follow us here at David Dwayne. Follow us at On Air with David. Keep up with everything that we're doing. We do our weekly shows Tuesdays nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 Pacific Time. I don't be knowing my time zones anymore because I live five million places. But this was great. And you guys be safe, be blessed, continue to wear your mask, wash your hands, take care of yourself.